And welcome to tropical weather update number 4 for May the 29th 2013 and we have a new tropical storm out there in the world, Tropical Storm Barbara which has just formed off the coast of Mexico and is likely to make landfall in Mexico um, in the next day. There's some warnings up on that one already um, and we'll come to that one a little bit later on. We also have a few other invests, 91E, 94W in the Western Pacific and also uh, 94B still going in the Bay of Bengal. And here we have the Pacific Ocean satellite imagery. You can see Barbara 91E and 94E here. Um, Barbara, of course, being the most prominent feature at the moment, about to make landfall in Mexico, as I said before. 91E moving out slowly towards the west still, um, and it's still possible to um, curve inwards on itself towards the Mexican coastline as well. Um, and looking at the Atlantic Ocean, you can see Bar Barbara here, but the Atlantic itself is fairly quiet at the moment still. Uh, not too much going on around here but with the hurricane season just three days away uh, things may warm up soon and looking at the Indian Ocean here 94B out in the Bay of Bengal not been moving much recently not been developing too much either and uh, 95A what's left of it off the coast of Oman uh, some of it over land as well at the moment which is um, causing possibly heavy rainfall there and looking at the sea surface temperatures still very warm waters to note uh, near the coast of Mexico, near the Guatemala border um, and also in the Caribbean warm waters here 28 degrees plus perhaps even 32 degrees plus in Mexico uh, near the Mexican coastline um, and looking towards the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean again warm waters as usual here off the eastern Indian coast looking at waters above 30 degrees C and over many parts of the South China Sea also above 30 degrees Celsius 86 Fahrenheit so here we have tropical storm Barbara at the moment, the orange line showing the warning area along the Mexican coast will come to that in a minute. But the track forecast here has uh, Barbara moving inland as a tropical storm, perhaps intensifying before reaching land as it moves slowly towards the coast at first, before perhaps quickening in pace slightly towards the north um, beyond uh, one day out. Currently with winds of 40 miles per hour and an air pressure of 1004 millibars, there's a tropical storm warnings, I won't try to pronounce them because I'll fail miserably. And let's move on now to Invest 91E, which is currently still out there um, in the Eastern Pacific, still on 10% chance last time I checked, um, and is likely to curb towards the north and then towards the northeast and isn't likely to develop into anything significant and will probably dissipate eventually or get absorbed or something like that in about 3 or 4 days time. Winds of 25 miles per hour and air pressure of 1,009 millibars. And here we have a tropical storm Barbara, uh, the latest floater imagery over the past few hours over the storm. And you can see here it's been developing, it's been organising and uh, certainly deserves its tropical storm status. And there it is, moving slowly towards the Mexican coastline. Slowly at first, but is likely to uh, quicken a little bit up to landfall as possibly a mid to high tropical storm. And here's Invest 91E still well, trying desperately to get its act together but probably failing and probably not likely to over the next few days. Still a 10% chance on this system performing over the next, uh, th over the next two days, 48 hours, as it moves towards the north and then the northeast. And then we have Invest 94B. Um, what you can see of it here near the Indian coastline, probably causing lots of rain over the Indian coast here, maybe into Bangladesh as well, where we had Cyclone Mahassan two weeks ago, um, which caused heavy rainfall and lots of displacement, pl displaced people. Um, so uh, things obviously not very good over there. Um, but the storm isn't too likely to develop at the moment. And we have Invest 94W here, the new Invest that formed today over the um, Pacific waters. And you can see it had a little bit of um, a burst earlier on, which just fizzled out as it uh, slowly moves towards the Philippines at the moment, the southern Philippine islands. Um, the small island towards the right there is Palau, you can see there. And let's look now at the um, storm, uh, the uh, forecast runs. The model ones that is, first of all, the CMC. Obviously, it hasn't picked up Barbara because it doesn't have it on there. It does have a system um, beyond Barbara at the moment towards the west uh, developing over the next few days. The ECMWF doesn't say much on their forecast either. You can see here um, what looks like Barbara at the start, uh, just fizzling into the land in Mexico at the moment. The GFS forecast here shows Barbara making landfall and Invest 91 uh, slowly fizzling out and perhaps a low pressure system forming in the um, southern Bay of Campeche there in the Atlantic. Uh, the GFS model there and the NAVGEM from the uh, US Navy not developing much from Barbara but it will probably make landfall in Mexico as a me medium to maybe high end tropical storm if it really gets um, intensity together um, and looking at the GDFL which is perhaps a bit more accurate um, at least at the beginning because it still uh, predicts a bit of a low pressure system uh, persisting into the Atlantic and perhaps regenerating into a depression or a storm 
near the Mexico-Texas border. Uh, we have the HWRF here as well, uh, not developing too much out of um, Barbara, but still making landfall as a tropical storm in Mexico, a little bit towards the east, not too far from the Guatemala border, which may be quite interesting. Let's now look at the predictor season scores for May the 29th, 2013. You can see a lot of scores going down a point or two here because a lot of people predicted zeros instead of actual storm numbers, at least for the eastern Pacific. But regardless of that, Ken remains in first place with 112, Typhoon Rope with 105, and Theo in third place with 104. Many below that, but I don't really have the time to read them. You can submit your storm totals at force13.com forward slash interactive.html. You can um, press the little um, 2013 predictor season storm button and you can go right to the predictions and submit your numbers and hey, you might even get first place at the end of the year, you never know. And let's look now on this day for May the 29th, 1982, Tropical Storm Aletta dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. Tropical Storm Barbara formed in the Eastern Pacific, ironically, in 2007. Tropical Storm Alma formed in the Eastern Pacific in 2008. Also in that year, Typhoon Nakri peaked as a Category 4 storm. In 2009, Tropical Depression 1 in the Atlantic became remnant low. 2010, Tropical Storm Agatha formed in the Eastern Pacific. And in 2011, um, another tropical storm which has uh, evaded my sight uh, dissipated. Typhoon Sonda that was turning post tropical. You can track the storms at 413.com forward slash storm tracking.html. You can find all the latest uh, warning and in information on uh, Barbara as it makes landfall in Mexico over the next day whilst um, there's a gap between the bulletins. And there'll probably be a storm update on Barbara alone tomorrow afternoon. That will be May the 29th. Uh, find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter, just search for 13, you'll find us easily. Make sure you show your support, uh, like and follow and uh, subscribe on the YouTube as well if you've not done that already. Thanks for watching.